it's incredible for anyone to suggest that time goes at a different rate on the ground than it does in space. What's the difference? Well, the difference is gravity. The closer you are to the Earth, the stronger the gravitational field. The further you are up into space, the weaker the gravitational field. What Einstein said was that the stronger the gravitational field, the slower time ticks. And the weaker it is, the faster time ticks. The link between the speed of time and the strength of gravity is all down to Einstein's prediction that the Earth distorts the space-time. If you put something heavy in space, like a planet, a star, the Earth, then that heavy thing bends the space, it curves the space. But space and time are intimately linked. So does the Earth also bend time? Well, yes, it does. In the reduced gravity up in orbit, time really does tick a bit faster than time on Earth. To keep everything in sync, the controllers have to dial in a time correction. Pre-pass 35. Checklist one dash eight, step two, go. Step four, it's good order, no windows. Step six, Ascension's updating on the B string. Aftac warms come up and comms good. You have good visibility at Ascension until 2152 and good old viz. At Diego, no open jobs. You've got to allow for the fact that time runs at a different rate on the ground than it does in orbit. If you don't, then your GPS system will drift, not by a few centimetres, as you might think, but by 10, 11, 12 kilometres a day. This morning we got lost, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, then it took us into a field about, um, <laughs> about a mile away. Our response to that is the constellation is healthy and producing an accurate navigation signal. What you actually mean is you are an idiot. And with that, it's time to leave. Calculating route. Approaching U-turn. We go wrong. <laughs>